This video is intended to be an objective criticism in order to decide which is the best tool for making mathematical videos. For this, I will use the following video as a reference, since there is not much information about it. The final product is this, the animation of a parabola, something quite simple. Let's see all the steps that the author of the video followed to enhance this animation. The first thing he does is graph the function in the GeoGebra software, and he exports it in EPS format and later it imports it to Adobe Illustrator. I don't really understand the reason for this, but we can see that it modifies the image layers. Maybe he is ordering the objects so they are easier to animate at the end. From here, he begins to build the animation. In total, it takes the author of the video almost 9 minutes to complete the animation. Let's see how long it takes us to do the same in Manum. To make the comparison fair, I am going to use a stopwatch to calculate how long it takes me to perform the animation. Now, let's analyze the attributes of the axes. The axes go from minus 5 to 5 but the domain of the graph is from minus four to four. Labels at the ends are not included and the range is zero to 16. I also highlight that the Y axis sticks out a little below of X axis. We see that the graph is squashed while the labels on the X axis go one by one on the Y axis, they go two by two. The first thing we will do is define parameters we will see at the end of the video why we do this. Once we have defined the parameters, we go on to create the objects. There are several types of axes in Manum. The number plane object provides us with the background grid. Now we define the attributes of the object using the parameters that we defined at the beginning. It may seem complex, but the truth is that when you learn Manum you realize that everything makes sense. Now we define the function and we will create the graphs using the axis object that we created. In the animation, I know that the graph grows towards the extremes. We could do that with a single graph, but it would take us some time. The smartest thing to do in this case is to simply split the graph in two. It is important to keep in mind that sometimes practical is better than elegant if the result is not much different or if you are not saving a lot of time. A great advantage of Manum for teaching mathematics is how easy it is to create formulas with latex. Although there is a plugin for After Effects, it is not free and does not have as many options as those provided by Manum. Moving objects and aligning them on the screen is also quite easy there are many methods that make our lives easier to do this. Before doing the animations, we will first verify that the objects were created correctly. We see that I was wrong about something, this always happens, we must not be scared. Although the terminal can scare some people, the truth is that when you master it, it will become your best friend. We see that the axes go off the edges, solving this is very easy. We just make the axes almost the same height as the camera. And as a last detail, we have to move the formula a little to the left, otherwise there is no error. It seems that everything works, the texts are being generated in latex. Everything seems fine, we can move on to making the animations. Animating objects in Manum is very simple, we can control the duration, their behavior, the pauses and we can create our own animations.
We see that it works well, but the left graph does not appear in the desired direction. Changing this is very simple. We just have to use the reverse points method. We see that they are not exactly the same, but for practical purposes they are the same. The person who made the video took almost 9 minutes to make the animation, although he did not render the project, we did, several times. Now let's remember what I told you at the beginning, that it was important to define the parameters correctly. Imagine that, using the Adobe path, for some reason, we needed the domain to be minus 5 to 5, instead of minus 4 to 4. We would have to redo the whole procedure, generate the graph, change the layers and pass it after effects. However, we are programmers, so we only need to change two parameters for this to change. Take a second if you don't understand why I did this. Now, if we render it. The axis are too big, now we have to make the width of the axis almost the width of the camera. Ready, we can see that by changing three lines of code, we can change the behavior of the entire graph. This is the magic of Manam and in general, of programming. If you create your programs in an orderly way and relating values, you will save a lot of work. I fully understand that if you are an expert in the Adobe suite, then you will work much faster and do more impressive things. But the great advantage that Manum has is that it does not need powerful computers, it is totally free, and you can even use it online using Google Collab. I will leave you the tutorial, Manum is ideal, due to its flexibility, its integration with LaTeX, and thanks to the fact that it is created with a language as friendly as Python. If you are a teacher of mathematics, physics or even chemistry, it is very likely that Manum is the answer to your needs. If you want to learn Manum in the fastest way, you can take my basic Manum CE course, which will take you from the basics to an intermediate level in less than 4 hours. I have more than two years of experience teaching Manum, and all my accumulated experience is condensed in this course. The course includes more than 40 solved exercises. The course costs $30, but with the coupon you see on the screen, you will have a discount of $5. In case you don't like the course, you have 30 days to ask for your money back. The basic requirements are the ones you see on the screen. In case you do not meet any of them, I will leave you free tutorials so you can learn on your own. As I said before, you don't need a powerful computer to use Manum. You can even learn it using Google Collab. I'll leave you a video it in the description. I will leave you my contact information in case you want to hire me for private classes or to make animations on request. Thank you very much for watching me, see you in the next line of code. Goodbye.